Welcome to our video series on RX5 for voice editing. Today we are looking at spectral denoise. This would be our last um, episode of the second batch of videos focusing on RX5 VST modules. Keep an eye out for the instructions for the chance to win a copy of Isotope RX plugin bundle. There's also a grand prize of RX to be won. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Spectral Denoise is the big brother of the Dialog Denoise plugin and can do as much if not more, but at the expense of a higher CPU load and delayed real-time response. Let's have a quick look at the interface. There are two modes. Uh, in manual mode, the plugin learns a noise profile from a noise sample and then subtracts it from the audio and it is best to use on stationary noises where the frequency profile does not change. Um, the adaptive mode automatically analyzes the audio for a period of time and decides what is noise and what is not. It can give good results on evolving noise like traffic and ocean waves. There is also the option of applying your own frequency reduction curve in either mode. You have a choice between four algorithms of increasing quality and CPU load and an artifact control slider. Then we have the usual threshold and reduction sliders and the output noise only option. Finally, under the advanced settings, you have access to a few parameters relating to the FFT algorithm, uh, dynamics and noise floor. We have already seen how the learn mode works when we looked at dialog denoise and I'm curious about trying spectral denoise on an evolving type of noise. Here I have a voice recording with ocean waves in the background, so let's try the adaptive mode on this. Uh, there might be some audio glitches when using the better algorithms, so apologies for that in advance. When the traffic lights were removed, and this is one of at least two familiar kinds of modern story, the assumed catastrophe did not occur. In fact, as luck or something else would have it, things were even better than before. There were fewer accidents, the flow improved, there was less rage, more common sense. Mondeman's traffic experiment, as it turned out, was an example of what John Dewey calls, in art as experience, adaptations through expansion, instead of by contraction and passive accommodation. The other familiar modern story is that the red lights are removed and futures are created that are beyond our worst imaginings. This is what tragedies and all political tyrannies are there to tell us about. But after Mondeman's experiment, Scott writes, small towns in the Netherlands put up one sign boasting that they were free of traffic signs, and a conference discussing the new philosophy proclaimed Unsafe is safe. We know something of what it is like to drop the idea that there is such a thing as forbidden knowledge. We don't really know what it would be like to ban. When the traffic lights were removed, and this is one of at least two familiar kinds of mo catastrophe did not occur. In fact, as luck or something else would have it, Things were even better than before. There were fewer accidents, the flow improved, there was less rage, more common sense. Mondeman's traffic experiment, as it turned out, was an example of what John Dewey calls, in art as experience, adaptations through expansion, instead of by contraction and passive accommodation. The other familiar modern story is that the red lights are removed and futures are created that are beyond our worst imaginings. This is what tragedies and all political tyrannies are there to tell us about. But after Mondeman's experiment, Scott writes, small towns in the Netherlands put up one sign boasting that they were free of traffic signs and a conference discussing the new philosophy proclaimed, Uns small towns in the Netherlands put up one sign boasting we know something of what it is like to drop the idea that there is such a thing as forbidden knowledge. When the traffic lights were removed, and this is one of at least two familiar kinds of modern story, the assumed catastrophe did not occur. In fact, as luck or something else would have it, 
things were even better than before. There were fewer accidents of modern story. The assumed could more common sense. Mondeman's traffic experiment, as it turned out, was an example of what John Dewey calls, in art as experience, adaptations through expansion, instead of by contraction and passive accommodation. Experiment, Scott. As you can hear, the results are impressive, uh, taking into account that the wave's frequency is ever-changing. The tricky part is to keep the artifacts to a minimum, uh, while at the same time reducing the noise to an acceptable level. Considering that I haven't used this plugin much, uh, and that I haven't explored the advanced settings, the results so far are quite promising. This is such a versatile and powerful plugin that it deserves um, its own tutorial. Also, the denoise module uh, inside Arox 5 standalone version includes the option of defining the noise profile by selecting one or more areas uh, from the spectral editor. So, as you can see, Arox 5 offers a variety of uh, VST plugins for different editing needs, all of which do an excellent job. My personal favorite and the one I use the most is definitely the click. I also find the clip and the hum very handy. Um, I don't tend to use the reverb and denoise so much when editing audiobooks, but I have to say they are extremely powerful and easy to use. I love the way I can integrate these real-time uh, plugins into my workflow and in fact I wish there were more modules available. For example, it would be great to have a real-time leveler or loudness control uh, or fade rider module that could interact with Insight. This sort of thing is available uh, for Pro Tools users, but not as a VST. It would also be great to have dedicated VST modules like the Breather, the Esser, the Plosive and uh, Match EQ. However, some of these modules are available in the standalone version of RX5 Advance. That's all from me today. Uh, thanks for watching this video. In the meantime, take care and see you next time.